The Autopulse's low distributing life band is integral to the device's unique ability to improve blood flow and lessen the possibility of CPR related injuries. The life band takes the force that is normally applied to one small area under the hands during manual CPR or at the end of a piston with pneumatic driven devices and spreads that force over much wider surface area of the chest. The life band can accommodate the following patient specifications. Chest circumference between 30 and 51 inches or 76 and 130 centimeters. Chest widths between 10 and 15 inches or 25 and 38 centimeters. Weights up to a maximum specified 300 pounds or 136 kilograms. If, however, the autopulse is unable to size the patient, immediately open the life band and revert to manual CPR. A new, single-use life band should always be installed along with a freshly charged battery in order to ensure the autopulse is ready for immediate deployment. To change the life band, make sure the autopulse is powered off, then turn the board over. Lift up on the blue plastic band guards found where the life band meets the sides of the autopulse platform. Remove the cover plate by pinching the four tabs and lifting up. Next, pull each of the now exposed straps laterally. Once this is done, you will be able to see the stitching on the band clip that is seated in the drive shaft, which in turn is attached to the board's internal motor. Do not change out the life band if the drive shaft is not in this position with the bands completely unwound. Next, push in the white guide plate and lift up on the bottom end of the yellow band clip. Dispose of the life band properly in either a biohazard container or in the garbage. To install a new life band, align the graphics on the cover plate. Insert the top end of the band clip into the drive shaft. Push down on the tail end of the band clip past the guide plate. The band clip should be seated flush in the drive shaft. Lift up on the band guards and lock the cover plate into place. Turn the auto pulse over and power it on. Every time you power on the auto pulse, it runs a complete system check. If the life band is installed properly, you will see the startup screen without any user advisory message. However, if the auto pulse detects the life band is not installed properly, the red alert LED will be lit and you will see user advisory number 12 on the user display. If this occurs, repeat the installation steps. The life band should only be removed and replaced according to this procedure. The life band should never be cut. If a life band does get cut for some reason, follow these steps. Pull on both ends of the bands fully extending them. If the ends are not accessible, turn the auto pulse over and remove the cover plate. Be very careful not to manually unwind the bands. Instead, take both ends of the bands and pull them out. The drive shaft should be returned to the home position with the band clip stitching visible. Turn the auto pulse over and power it on. If no user advisory exists, follow the normal procedure for removing the life band. If there is a user advisory number 45 on the screen, press the green restart button in an attempt to clear the advisory. If the user advisory number 45 does not clear, contact technical service for assistance.